is I can solve discount problems using a percent bar model. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when you mark something down, that means that you that it is uh, less than 100% of the total. For example, if something is marked down 20%, what percent are you actually paying? Well, uh, <coughs> here we're going to have a model here that goes from 0% to 100%. We have 10 boxes here, so each one of these represents 10%. Okay. So if we're marking down 10 or 20%, that means we're not paying 20% of it. Okay. And that means what we are paying is this. We are paying all of this. We are paying the 80%. Okay. So here we are paying 80% when we're taking down 20%. <coughs> okay. So a PlayStation game originally priced $50 is on sale for 10% off. What is the sale price of the game? So again, we're going to go from 0% to 100%. And 0% of 50, we're going to put that at the top here, which is $0. And 100% of $50 is $50 here. So therefore, each one of these boxes represents 10% of this, which means that each box uh, is going to represent $5 because... Uh, one-tenth of 50 is 5. So 50 divided by 10 is 5. So each one of these is $5. Okay? And we're taking 10% off. That means we're not paying this part, 10%. And we're paying this part right here. How many fives do we shade in? Well, we saved in nine fives. So we're going to do nine times five, which means we're paying $45. That's the sale price of the game. The Stefan family dinner came to $30, but Mrs. Stephen, or Stefan, had a coupon for 20% off. What is the discounted dinner bill? Again, we're going to go 0%. Oops, excuse me, wrong direction. Uh, 0% to 100%. And 100% represents $30, 0% represents $0. And that means that each one of these is $3 each. Because 30 divided by 10, because we have 10 boxes, is going to be 30. 20% off means that we are not paying 20%, two boxes worth, which means we are paying eight boxes worth. Okay, so that's eight times three, which is $24. So the dinner costs $24. <coughs> Here it says Dillard's is having a Columbus Day sale and shorts originally priced at $20 are marked down 15%. And we are to find what the sale price is. Okay, I know it doesn't say that, but uh, we're supposed to find the sale price. So 0%, 100% again, and 100% this time is $20. <coughs> and $0, that's a 20 Twenty dollars. Okay, uh, that means that each one of these is two. Now, wh what's unique about this one is that this is fifteen percent. It's not a multiple of ten. So, how do we go about doing that? Well, again, we're not paying fifteen percent. So, let's split this part into two. So, this is five percent and five percent. So, we're splitting this into two. And we're not paying that part. And this part uh, is going to be half of two because we took half of a box, so it's going to be worth one. And that means what we're paying is this much right here. So that's two, 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 and one. Which when we add those up, gets us uh, two times eight plus one, which gets us seventeen dollars. So the price is seventeen dollars after a fifteen percent discount. <coughs> My Verizon plan is normally eighty dollars a month, but I get a fifteen percent discount for being a state employee. How much is my bill? Go ahead and try this one out on your own. What you should have discovered was that it is uh, $68 because we are crossing out one and a half of these boxes. Half a box is worth four, so we have eight boxes left in plus the four. So eight times eight plus four is $68. They say that the smoking can reduce your life expectancy by 20%. If the life expectancy of a non-smoker is 90 years old, what the life expectancy of a smoker? Go ahead and try this one out on your own. What you should have found is that 
Uh, the life expectancy of a smoker would then be 72 years old because one tenth of 90 is nine, so each one of these boxes is worth nine. <coughs> and we have eight boxes because of 80% of the life that they're gonna live. Eight times nine equals 72. Go ahead and try number six out on your own. What you should have found is that each one of these boxes is worth 25 because uh, 10% of 250, which is 250 divided by 10, <coughs> is 25. And we're doing seven boxes because we have 70% of the calories that we're still going to have. So seven times 25 is 175 uh, calories. Go ahead and try number seven and number eight on your own. What you should have found for question number seven is that it's 31.5 because we're taking 10% off. Each one of these is worth 3.5 because the total amount is $35. 35 divided by 10 is 3.5. So 3.5 times nine gets us 31.50. Uh, for the iTunes, <coughs> you should have found that uh, it is $15 because each one of these boxes is worth two because 20 divided by 10 is two. Seven times two plus one because we have seven boxes and a half gets us $15. I, I also want to point out though that you could have also done this as 7.5 times two. 7.5 because we have uh, seven boxes and a half a box of two. So 7.5 times two would have also gotten you $15. And that same goes same for example question number three. Instead of two times eight plus one, we could have just done two times 8.5 because we have eight and a half boxes. And that would have gotten us also $17.